I have been really excited to carry on with this adventure since the dramatic events of last time. I'm super curious to what these people who have been like obviously haunted by this horror have got to say before I do any make any progress. So it was all true. You really did it. Looks like the night shroud is staying, but to be rid of the banshee, no more fear. Awesome. Wraith Island is free. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wasn't there one more of you? Oh, you defeated the Dweller of Woe? Yeah, nice story. Oh, that was like disbelief. Something huge fell down from the sky and crashed onto Brisk. Into Brisk. I hope everyone's alright. No, we're good. Captain just left. Ain't been acting like herself since we arrived here. I'd stay clear of Cursed Woods if I were you. Why? Well, you all went did your thing. Congratulations. Aren't you proud? You all just saved a lot of people, pals. We... A lot has happened. And we're still catching up. Why the long face? Did something unpredictable occur? You all look like your mentor turned out to be a bad guy all along or something. Oh, is that the one? <laughs> Technically, yeah. Look, well-meaning is my middle name. I'm sorry, I didn't know it was this bad. I... It's okay, Yolanda. Just a lot to take in right now. Well, anything I can do to help, you let me know, alright? There is something. Lay it on me. Brisk was hit pretty hard. Our orders is to go back and assess the damage. See how we can help. Consider it done, son. You all ready to set sail then? Assuming you're all done here now, of course. Let's see if we can go into the town. Because I don't think I've really... We must hurry back to Brisk. Bit annoying that you can have a quick wander around town, to be honest. I would have liked that, but okay. Yeah, I guess we've got no choice but to set sail. There's um, something to do with a house in the corner that I've not done, but I can't do it now. With the resurrection of the Dweller of Strife announcing a reign of terror thought forever gone, hope appears slim for a world that only three sol with only three solstice warriors left. The veil of lies now lifted and part of their innocence left behind. Our heroes head back to Brisk while their headmaster searches for a way to reach Mesa Island. Committed to helping the catac cataclysm survivors, they will soon dive headfirst into the eye of the storm to confront a legendary ancient curse. Interesting. I wonder if we're going to meet this character, if it's like... Kind of like a sage or something. Ooh, okay. The dweller crashed right in the middle of town. Surprise over there. Sorry we're late. Let's do this. Okay, Gal's gone. Uh, you know what? I'm going to assume these are going to be able to do really bad things, so let's chuck a lunar shield on. seem to be physical. Oh, oh, that was a lot of damage. Can I do something to that? Okay, right, okay. Seems like these need taken out. Okay. Wonder if killing them destroys their spell? Yes, it does. Oh, oh, it's got like splash damage almost. Uh, 
Don't need that right now. Do you know what? I might stick with Sarai this part because I had Gal with me last time. It was looking like it was going to go well, but then didn't. What are these things called? Strife Minion. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. That just about came around. That was a lot of XP. These are way stronger than what we fought in the mansion. This Dweller of Strife really must be formidable. And no Eclipse anytime soon. There's got to be a way. Let's clear what we can. The Dweller must have crashed somewhere. We have to find it. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. Hey, you're safe now. Find your lander at the docks. Her group will keep you safe. Solstice Warriors, Luana be praised. Please help the others. Interesting. Uh, yeah, best save, Anna. We will protect the villagers, or my name isn't Keenathan. Thanks again for saving me. Don't you worry about us, we can fend for ourselves. Hey pal, any other villager you find, just send them right to us. We lost almost everything in the Cataclysm, but if there is anything you need to buy for this journey, we'll use the money to rebuild. Okay, uh, right, don't need that, don't need that. Hmm. Do you know what? The hearty stew's pretty good actually as a healing item, considering how challenging they are as enemies. Let's see what's this way. Person in rubble. Or are they hiding? It's hard to tell. Or is it just environment? See the amount of detail this game goes in. That person could be full on savable. Okay. Let's get in the water. Oh, is this the pub? Uh, let's go for a Lunar Shield, because they've got some pretty uh, devastating attacks. Especially with the splash damage, too. Yeah, that, exactly that. Okay, this is going to be a really useful skill here. All you have to do is hit them. Sorry. Yeah, absolutely. It's actually such a good skill. Uh, let's just keep charging. At least it drops orbs still, that's the main thing. Uh, there's three down, isn't there? Let's, let's just go for full on damage. I'm really not doing much damage to these. Oh. So if I take one out, the battle should be easier. Be more sparing with my resources then. I'm gonna attack this way around. I think this should finish the one on the left. Uh oh. <laughs> well, oh, okay. I'll take it. 
Thank you, I was certain I was going to die here today. Can you get to the docks on your own? People are gathering there while we take care of the monsters. Uh, yes, I can make it. Thank you. I wish I had more to offer. Hey, a sandwich is a sandwich. Desperate times equals desperate measures. <laughs> Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Quote, 2013. <laughs> I don't know why 2013. It was a good year. Uh, okay. I love how the towns become a dungeon. Can I help that woman? No, it doesn't look like I can go that way, does it? No. That could just be a dead person. I hope not. I mean, I suppose. If there was a time in the game where there'd be dead people, I guess it would be there. Maybe they're just stuck. Maybe they're not actually dying. Let's just hope, hey. MP, I best go for an offensive strap this time. At least they're vulnerable to both kinds of magic. And that was a nice block as well. The defenses are insane though. This charge does that would do much to be honest. Would it be better taking one of these out so that my party are safer? Probably. Weird, weird attacks. chain with each other. Right. Let's do a healing light on Sarai actually. She can do some delay stuff. She's pretty useful utility wise. You know what? This should finish at least this guy. Combo bar is full, which is good. I still think there's a way to block that if you don't over anticipate the blast. Such a weird thing to have like chain attacks. Let's do a solstice strike. Let's do a powerful solstice strike. Yeah. It feels like ages since I leveled up. Um. Where do I feel like I'm lacking? Gotta say. I've not done extra MP yet. Let's do extra MP. It just opens more options more frequently, doesn't it? I quite like Gal being tanky, you know. It just I just think it suits his big shieldy character. Hmm. Her damage isn't great. It would be nice to do more damage with her. Go on, let's let's get a physical attack up. And you're a healer. Do you know what? Because of like the style of enemies in the area and the fact that the magic magic attacks seem more devastating. Magic defense. Oh, I'm stuck behind this big block that fell. Can you move it? Oof, that was close. I should head for the docks. Thank you so much. Here. Mushroom soup. Right. I think I could have saved that other villager, I'm not going to lie. 
No, 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 no. Come on. Oh no, I've jumped down. It might be too late. I did try to get down. Oh, the statue. <laughs> oh, there's three of them. Uh, do you know what? Let's, just because of this situation, it's much better to hurl to get them all close together so I can deal damage to all of them. Oh, do you know what? Actually, let's crescent arc them. Attack the one that's got a sooner turn. This could be quite a challenging little group. Uh, let's get high, Stu. It's actually better healing than what any of my skills can do. Doesn't seem like you can block that. Let's just hope. Yeah! Oh yeah, because he used the magic. Okay, fair enough. Right, this is a little bit more doable now. At least that delay stops these balls from stacking up. Should we call them orbs? Let's, let's just stick with orbs. It's, that's becoming a meme. <laughs> orbs, not balls. That's that's the meme. Uh, no, I'll get some orbs down, and I'll moon around to try and get some excess damage. Because the Moonerang should take those other uh, the little orbs out with a bit of luck. So far, oh shit, I was going to say it's the best skill in the game. It could have been a much better turn, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, because that's going to hit everyone. Take that one out. Yeah. Part of me wants to do a healing light, but I want to see what this X strike does. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Not not seen this in action yet. <laughs> I love that. That's so cool. Worth it. it? All those innocent people. How big is this thing? Hey, you're Solstice Warriors, aren't you? We've cleared out the monsters. It's over for now. The big one flew away. It might come back. Wah! <laughs> Don't worry about it. My friends here are stronger than that big monster. Really? Totally. Where? <laughs> it's safe here for now. Please gather at the docks with the others. We're not giving up on you. We'll figure this out, I promise. Thank you. I hope my brother is okay. I don't think he will be. We can't stay here. Where are we going to go? We need to find new lives for ourselves. I was born here and I will die here, just like my ancestors. We can rebuild. I'd rather move somewhere new. Where? Okay, hold tight while we figure this out. What should we do here? Clearly some of them need to move on, but... 
There's too many of them for Lucent, plus that town already has its own healing to worry about. Yolanda, are there any other places you can think of? Aye, reckon a fresh start would be just what some of them need. Keenathan? How about the small island to the northeast? Oh, the unclaimed one that's filled with pine trees. That could work. Precisely. We know the way, but the Oakham Skiff won't get us there. We gotta hit open sea for that, so we'll need a proper ship. Okay, that's a good lead. Good news, everyone. We know a perfect place for those who wish to leave Brisk and start anew. Yay! <laughs> Does anyone have a ship we can borrow? Listen, bud, practicality is my middle name, but this here port is totaled. That leaves but one option, it would seem. Oh, I like where this is going, pal. Well then, speak up, tall, tall guy. We claim the Vespertine. Oh, he showed his eyes. That's a negative, mate. Ain't no pulling that trigger without the captain say so. <laughs> As if it's not obviously her. <laughs> Keenathan is right. The time has come. Hi, Captain. We thought you'd gone. Will this ship be good enough to carry settlers to the island Yolanda mentioned? Look alive, son. The Vespertine could even sail the sea of... Yolanda! Apologies, Captain. I'll take us there. Guaranteed. Okay, what's the plan? The boat is cursed, innit? In fact, that's the easy part. All we got to do is get on board. Meet the owner and let the captain buy the ship using the coin of Undeath Accord you all fetched earlier. A sound plan. Without even breaking a sweat. But we'll see about that. For now, we hike to the peninsula and wait. As dusk falls, the Vespertine will appear for but a brief moment. The window is short, so we must jump aboard without hesitation. All in a day's work, Captain. So pumped for this. The three of you are not coming with us. Captain? If we don't make it back, you must find another way to help the villagers find their new land. No way, we've been prepping for this forever. Our end goal remains the same, but for this step I need you to stay safe. Can you do that for me? I will do as the captain commands, or my name is not Keenathan. I've got a feeling all three of these guys are going to end up corrupted. Aye aye, Captain. Can we at least see you safely to the peninsula? Of course. Let me know when you're ready. Are you ready to leave? Yeah, might as well. Brew time! And then he went, behold, the pain of everlasting sin and turned into some half something form with a beautiful face blowing so softly on an apple with feathered wings. What happened next? Chucked about 26 elixirs we'd been saving for later and eventually we won. Huzzah! A valiant battle. Not gonna lie, I kind of want to play as the other guys as well. They're really cool. Get ready, we jump on the next flash. Orders, Captain. Keep the villagers safe until our return. Can do, will do. Safe journeys, Captain. With everything happening, it seems it will never be time to explain, so... Please don't tell my crew. <laughs> Sarai, we sort of knew already. <laughs> then why didn't you say anything? You're clearly on our side, it's all that matters. Yeah, whatever your reasons are, they must be good. Oh, and thanks for spending the coin to save me. I... We agreed to let you keep your secret, but it's good to see you trust us now. I'm sorry, I should have... It's okay, we're a team now. So you understand claiming the Vesper team won't be as easy as we thought. Yep. And it just so happens we owe you one, so all the better. Thank you. I want to know why she's got this alter alternate persona. Now. I feel like... 
she's going to end up having like a really tragic backstory or something. It's the only reason why someone conceals their identity, right? Ye fools, the Vesper team will return to us to the Sea of Nightmare any second. Get off right now. That's a fun character design. What happened? I saw someone and then... Welcome to the Sea of Nightmare. Nice going, binding your souls to an ancient pirate curse like that. Hello, we plan on claiming the ship for ourselves. Ha! Now that's a good one. And, and how do you all plan on doing that? These two are solstice warriors. Pardon. They can, <laughs> they can use solstice magic. No creature is immune to it. Solstice magic, huh? How can such a coincidence... Another hallucination, ain't you? Brace. All right, Stormcaller has sensed your presence. I suppose this makes you real. So you're the one known as the Navigator. Horton's been the name. Use it. Can't imagine you all ended up here, but it's a relief someone can finally fight those things. You mean the Ghost Pirates? Aren't they? My former crewmates. Aye. Going along with Mutiny will do you. Do you in like little else? Well, I suppose instigating mutiny is worse. Sometimes I wish I was also made made an undead of the brainless sort. So your former captain, this Stormcaller, how can we stop him? If the last couple of centuries have taught me anything, it's that we can. See, the curse only has two possible outcomes. Either Stormcaller gives up, or I let the Vespertine sink, and by the looks of it, neither is happening any time soon. What if we fought him? Look alive, Stormcall would be the most formidable wind mage the world has ever known. We can hold our own in battle. Oh, reckon you can beat a grudge so strong it magic a parallel nightmare realm in which to torture a crew for all eternity? Look, if you all are foolish enough to wag your swords at him, I won't stop you. But first his wind barriers need weakening. Where do we begin? There are three lightning rods sending the power back to the maelstrom where he channels this never-ending storm. You all want to confront him? That's the first step. Where are the rods? Even if I knew, ain't no way to tell which way is up in this nightmare. Okay, how about this for the first test? My map should be below, be below the decks. In the kitchen past the crew quarters. If you all can fetch it and return alive, I'll entertain this plan of yours. One map coming up. Fun. Okay, did that damage me then? No. <laughs> I can climb the pirate. Uh, mast. Climb the pirate, just in general. Just in general. I'm so excited to see where this is going. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at that weapon. Hmm. There's an attack brace there, but let's uh, wait. I want to use that Cooker Surprise attack. I want to see what it does. That's funny. It's fun to see that Gal's got like a multiple hit attack now. Okay, let's dash strike. Might as well use a load of MP to get some XP, right? Ranged matey. <laughs> Literally the most common attack in the game. Uh, I did like Cooker Surprise, I thought it was funny, but let's use Gar to 
deal a bit of normal damage. Like okay, and heal girl. And can we combo? We can solstice strike, I suppose. No, it's not worth wasting yet. Literally just enough damage. That's tough. Uh, should finish it. Yeah. Oh, like beating the ghosts frees up the rest of the space, okay. Let's see. Can't use a wheel yet. Ooh. Party stew, that's good. Looks like a log book. A log book. New cradle fish pie, that's a nice find. Dex, I suppose. <laughs> That's Luna Shield, because we get the heals off it too. Nice having a preemptive advantage. Who do we kill first? We got the other least health actually. Resistance there, though, which wasn't good. Oh, there's a like proper little misdirect. Build them all bundled together so we can do more damage to them all. Should be able to hit all of them now. Gun attacks are so hard to block. Where have our orbs gone? Oh, they're at the back. Hmm. Do I have enough? No, I don't. Hmm. I'll be honest. I think she's going to be better here because of the... Uh, Poison damage. There we go. It's well hard to block. Uh, I'll swap for Gal, to be honest. Nourish. If the game allows me to do it, I suppose. It's a bit of a weird lineup. Feels weird not having Zayl for a change, but. Right, okay, it's making you switch out. I want to practice the gunshot attacks actually and keep that guy out. It's so hard. Uh, who's due to attack soon? You are you bracing to do something. Need to keep in practice you're using it to be honest. <laughs> Every time you hit the guy with the guns, the parrot on his head squawks. <laughs> I 
should do it. Another, oh, right, it's, 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 he's done. Oh, uh, in that case, that's too good for uh, boss battles. Let's use some of the worst. do significantly more damage hopefully. See 40 damage even though I blocked it's insane. Luna shield down now. I might have actually timed this all quite well. Uh, yes, let's kill them all. At least makes the battle a little easier. Don't want to waste items, but I was saying that everyone's got a shield on. Build up some orbs for some real damage. Okay, they seem to do that at a distance. Should use one. Nice, this is getting better. Uh, I can use that one for a better healing light on Valer. I know it's obviously inspired by it, but it it does remind me so much of Chrono Trigger. It just feels like Chrono Trigger. Which, do you know, some would argue, oh, is there an element of non-originality there? I think it's a massive compliment. There are elements that feel more innovative than Chrono Trigger as well, so there is that. Let's go in for it as well. This has got to kill it. Battles are long and quite a lot harder. Like each section of the game seems to get just a little harder. Uh, okay, oh, there's a camp up there and somewhere we can cook. Okay, you can't pull the flames out with wind. That would have been fun though, right? being available at the least. Uh, okay. It's an nice advantage at least. Hmm. Again, I think I might save the Lunar Shield and Moonarang my way through. I might actually have um Sarai in this. I wanna get used to all the characters. Gal's skills are quite easy to do. Sarai's aren't, I think she needs more practice. Because the ghosts, it seems like they resist lunar magic. You know what? Before I do switch out, let's get you closer to the others. <laughs> Some ball, these two. Actually, not that much damage. 
blocked that one. That's the first one I've blocked. Sarai on the next turn. That felt earned then. Uh, yeah. Okay, didn't get a chance to switch then, but I will soon. Chest and stuff. And for going in the. Yes. Oh. Uh, means I'm using some more stuff. Yeah, let's use the rubber sandwiches. Moon Cradle Fish Pie is a super good healing item. Right, before continuing on. Let's get this item. Oh, there's the map. That's the map. Let's return to Hortons. It's mad, right? You look you look at the scenery, you see the little bits of food and the little details. There's so much you can analyse here. You can see that the areas are like lived in. They're really trying to convey like a believable place. Hey, you're all starting to give me hope. So, how can we find the rods? The magic map connects to the sea. Should allow you to get an idea of the place. Okay, we got this. Why don't you take the wheel? I could certainly use a break. Oh, nice. Alright, let's see you sail. Three islands, one rod each. Once they're out, we can storm Maelstrom Point and take the fight to the storm caller. While sailing, hold X to move forward. And... Okay. Okay, so we just follow. Oh, this is a fun little quest. Go on. Let's see if I... There's going to be a battle on each of these islands or something, isn't there? We could probably use a grapple to smash those crystals. Oh, maybe they're used for the thing at the back, the wheel thing. Ha! The environment design is just like lush. Just him. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say. Get a sun ball down. Seems to be the greatest weakness. so bad at that. <laughs> I 
I should have known that was happening. Um, I really want to get this attack down because it's well satisfying when it works. Okay. Apparently not. Hmm. Health ain't looking good. You know what? Save the moon cradle fish pies. I think I'll I think I'll be grateful to myself for having done so. attack then. Do you know what though? This should finish him. I think any items that heal the whole party should be left for last. Okay. It's just, it looks like there's five nodes. Right, that's the way I travel across. There's one here. And I'm not just climbing the tree. Okay. Oh, this bit's a little, little puzzly bit, eh? Is that one stuck? Oh, okay. That's a lot more simple than it seemed. Let's see if we can get this going. Oh. Uh, two more left. This section might take a while if each of these islands are like this. Yeah. <laughs> I like the little ghost face in the corner. I don't think it's intentionally but like that, but works for me. Uh, no, he's not got a sun ball yet. Do you know what? Who's got the least help? This guy in the corner. At least it's an attack I can deal with. Attacked ready enough there. Do you know what? What's Luna Shield? <laughs> that was two perfect blocks. And then not one. <laughs> That's what keeps throwing me off. This should do the two at the front in at least. Did that too soon. used to normal attacks now. Oh, oh, uh, Zale's down. That's not good. Let's do a face shiri. I love the animation for this. It's so cocky. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like using characters that are on screen. It doesn't 
feel right. But I do kind of want to see what Bash Drop does. <laughs> does a lot. You know what, there's an there's a utility to Zale having more MP actually. I need to consider that next time. Are you. Nope. Okay. Seems like I'm missing one. Here's me forgetting there's a campfire in the middle and using all the healing items. Let's get this last one. I want to get this island done. Right, this is going to be the last one, isn't it? Uh, let's go. Offensive. That's weird because they do look like they're close to each other. Okay, we'll uh, move around. It's fine. Clearly, need more practice doing it. It either goes really well, or you get like two hits, it's, there's no in-between. That was a lot better damage. Somebody's telling me that like the final boss is just going to have loads of bubble drop attacks and they're going to be a hell of a lot worse. And the game's just like tra training you for them. Because at the moment they seem like almost pathetic, but I've got a gut feeling again. Uh, I did like Cook cool, a Surprise, but you know what? Let's get these guys close together. I think he's in the camp, got Gala, which was weird. Uh, Gotta nail this attack, it's too cool. <laughs> so difficult. Yeah, this will finish it. Oh, or maybe not. Let's get some MP. For out of battle heals is. for rainbow conches. You just never know. I've not seen one for such a long time. Well, like an episode and a half, but still. Seems to be the final medallion. Let's rest just in case just in case this brings out about some boss because Seems like that's what the chances would be. Let's see, do we have any cookie and stuff? Shaw tray and a berry jam. No then. Very satisfying. Okay. I like the way everything unfurls in there. Let's <laughs> there was no need for the bounce back, but I appreciate it for time saving reasons.
I'll try and get to another island if there's a save point at the island. I assume there will be. But in case there's not, I've saved there, just in case. How do we get back on the ship? Oh, it just just appears. I like the way the ship controls, actually. Right, here's our next island. Oh, this looks like one you could possibly destroy right away. Yeah. Hmm. There's an anticipation frame that's really difficult to figure out there. I do like that attack, it reminds me of Cloud in uh, Final Fantasy VII, his cross slash. Uh, do you know what, it's not actually worth this might do well. Oh, actually. Oh no, maybe not. Be a save point on this island. Can I jump to that? I can. Right? Oh, I know what I can do. I can uh, camp outside here, can't I? Oh, I can literally camp here. Right, let's rest so we're ready for next time. Let's set up camp. I want to see, just before I finish, I want to read this next tale. Because I really like the lore so far in this game. Unless she's not about. Doesn't seem like she's actually about. Stormcaller. About time someone puts an end to this. Maelstrom point, huh? We can do this. Hortens sure is something, but can you imagine holding the bar for that long? Okay. I thought that the law girl would be there, but apparently not. Right, okay, well, onwards with the pirate adventure next time. Um, thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.